Murray the Magician um, is a big deal in Vegas. In fact, you may have seen him on the Vegas Strip. Uh, but he's, he's got beef with something and did something really interesting and we wanted to talk to him about this. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit of this video. He, like a lot of us, really has an issue when he sees someone parked in a, a handicapped spot who doesn't belong there. And whenever he sees this, he goes out of his way to make sure those people learn a lesson. Here is just one of the stunts, I guess he would say uh, a vigilanteism <laughs> that he pulled against someone in a handicapped spot. My biggest pet peeve is people parking in handicapped spots that shouldn't be. I want to scratch his car. Dude, that's perfect. You know what, I'm actually pretty good at picking locks. Do you have anything to pick a lock with? Do you have any? Bingo. There you go, dude. Right, man. <laughs> Lucky day. Idiot. Next time, don't park here, man. Somebody needs it. Idiot. <laughs> oh, did he give him the key? I didn't. Yeah, he actually went over and like. Uh, but the guy didn't did seem that upset. Thing. It was well, weird. I think the guy's confused as to what is going on here. But uh, so joining us now to talk about his his mission against people like this is Murray the Magician. Uh, Murray, how you doing, man? Welcome good. to Team Z Live. How are you guys doing? We're good. Harvey, Charles, this, you good? We're, we're good. We're good, man. This is a, look, I, I agree with you. I, I hate when I see this. It's a little dangerous sometimes when you start, you don't know the kind of person that you're doing this to and you have no idea what the reaction is gonna be. Yeah, you know, you kinda gotta be careful. Um, I have a couple other people behind the scenes that if it ever gets rough, uh, they could Good help planning. me. You know what I mean? Cause yes. look at me, I'm not really a fighter. Come on now. <laughs> I, I'm a Q-tip. Really? But, no, um, I thought you had, a, you had a, some <laughs> MMA training, but maybe yeah. not. No, it's not yeah, that. like Don Knotts on Three's, <laughs> you know, Three's Company. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I, you know, it really bothers me because until you have a grandparent or somebody older, it doesn't even have to be older, it could be a young person, you know, uh, that has handicap issues, you don't realize how, uh, how detrimental it is. It is, yeah, because you don't realize that when you are somewhere and you can't get close, it's a long walk when somebody can't walk. Do you, you, ever, do you ever actually get through to someone, make the point and they understand? Do, they, do you ever have someone go like, you know what, you're right, I, I was wrong, I shouldn't do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times, sometimes you know, we won't show that in the video, uh, but, but after the fact, I'll walk away and they'll, they'll chase after me and go, wait a minute, aren't you that, that guy from Pawn Stars or wherever they've seen me from? And I go, wait a minute, you know, that was, I shouldn't have done that, that was actually pretty, uh, you know, pretty wrong, you know, what we did. And I said, yeah, I said, there's, there's tons of parking spots. Park somewhere else, you can walk. You know what I mean? Enjoy it while you can walk, because one day you may not. Also, you know, so. and also, it's the law. Well, that's, well, that's the other fact, How about it? just so. obeying the law? Uh, yeah. so, I, I, I'm, I'm curious, are there people who are taking your lead and doing the same stuff? Because it can get dangerous when somebody does it alone, and all of a sudden, they, like Charles said, they don't know who they're <laughs> dealing with. Right. I mean, uh, things could get hot, right? I mean, like, like parking road rage almost. Well, for sure, you, have to, you do have to be careful. We had a few people pretty upset. I've been chased a couple of times, um, but, but I, you know. So you wanna make the point, know. don't try this at home, folks. I would never try this at home. Right. I would never suggest doing any of this. It's just one of those things where I think, uh, for me, it, it, it's something I, I like to do because I think it's wrong. Second of all, it works because I'm on YouTube doing it as well, so it's a two for, for me, you know? All right, so Murray, look, we can't have you on and not have you do a trick, right? We, everybody wants to see a trick. You got one for us? Yeah, sure, of course. I always bring my cars with me. These happen to be from my hotel, from uh -huh. the Tropicana Hotel and Casino. And uh, <coughs> Harvey, can I, can I have you help me? Yep. In the studio? All right. Yep. So you can see these are all different. It's a regular deck. The only difference is the corners are cut off. That's so you can't go back in the casino right. and actually use the car. Make sure we stay on Murray. Make sure we stay on Murray. 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 We, 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 yeah. Yeah. Are, are all the corners this. and all the cards cut off? Yeah, they're all cut off. You can see that really closely. See that corner right there? Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah and the bottom. him. Don't cut okay. back to us. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so watch the cards. Now, Harvey, I'm going to have you say stop whenever you wish. I'm going to write for the deck. You say stop whenever you want. All right? Here we go. Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Right. This is the card. This is your card. Memorize the card. I'm going to look down so I can't see any monitors, but memorize the card. You got it? All of yours have it? That's a good one. Yep. Yep. You like it? You see it? Yeah? Yep. Okay. Everyone's happy? Yep. All right. Put it back in the deck. And I'm going to predict what your card might be. I have a 1 in 52 chance. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, here mm -hmm. we go. Watching. Here we go. I'm going to throw the cards up, and I'm going to try to catch your card, Harvey. You ready for this? Okay. Don't cut away. You ready for this? Here we go. Yeah, Watch. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. There's no. <laughs> that would have been amazing. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh. but. But here's the cool thing. Wait, I, I've, it, I've, I've watched your show a little bit. I kind of have an idea. You guys are always looking for, you know, what the what next. 
I, I just, I wore this because I was so confident that I thought maybe this maybe might be the card oh, that you chose. Oh, come on. Is that the card you chose? That's Wait the a one? second, so. Yeah, that's it. Okay, am I yeah. allowed, right. to, am I allowed to guess something? Is that right? Am I, well, yes, yes. It is, yes, that but, is okay, the right good. card. Can I guess something? Yes. When you, when oh, you gosh. did that with the deck, uh -huh. yes. I thought I saw the Ace of Spades as the first card when um, at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it probably was, and then it, it basically did a flip, printed itself on my shirt, uh, and that's how. <laughs> <laughs> and if you believe that, I got a, I got a bridge in the desert to, to sell you. Hey, Murray. Thank you so, thank you so much for being with us, man. And listen, in addition to your residency at Tropicana uh, in Vegas, I know Glow? that uh, you're going to be on a few episodes of Glow, right? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm guest star on Glow this year, which is such a successful show. So I'm really excited about doing that. Uh, and of course, I'm on Pawn Stars as usual and uh, Masters of Illusion, all these other shows this year. So check me out somewhere. And in a parking lot near you, yeah. if you dare park God. a handicap parking without a yeah. This guy's killing all right. it. Thank you, guys. Murray, thanks so much for being thanks, with us, Murray. man. Yeah.